morning. I just finished my practice for today. It was good. It was needed, very necessary. Um, I kind of woke up in a weird mood again today. I think when I embark on like a specific effort to get myself back into an alignment or back on like my path, whatever it is, I don't really know what to refer to it as. There's always a couple of days, regardless of if it's like the first day after I start or two weeks after I start, where I just get in my head a lot and I start to question what I'm doing or I just get caught up in thought and the thought itself is distracting. Like, regardless if my intention behind the things I'm questioning is right or wrong, the thought is so distracting that it can kind of just overwhelm me and take over the practice that I'm doing if that makes sense like I don't know I can be a bit like a dog with a bone and I just hunt down and search for answers and end up in rabbit holes but then I'm distracted from the initial thing that led me to what I was doing and so yeah today I kind of had to drag myself to the mat um I was reading in the morning when I woke up searching for answers because I kind of felt lost and I wanted to move in a direction in a right direction so I started to read and just like look for answers to kind of either anchor myself or like guide me um, into what was the right path or whatever. And then, yeah, that became even more overwhelming to an extent. So I just like breathed in some tiger balm, relaxed, and then ended up falling asleep again. And then when I woke up, came to the mat, like I had to force myself to be here. And it was good. It was a really relaxing practice. Um, I used mala beads today, I don't know if, yeah, anyone's familiar with, well, not anyone, but I don't know if you, like, whoever I'm talking to in this moment, whoever that is, maybe just myself, is familiar with them, but mala beads are like prayer beads, you can search them, you'll see them, um, they can be really helpful for me during, like, meditation, because I find it difficult to just, like, still my mind and be quiet, and so I just, like, each bead that I moved on to, I breathed in for four seconds, four long seconds, and then breathed out for four long seconds. And after that, I felt quite calm and really relaxed. And I just tried to focus my thoughts on, for me personally, it was God, but for whatever, like, is your thing. Yeah. And yeah. After a certain amount of time of doing that, I could feel where I was like tense in my body and just like started to let some relaxation and some ease there. And so, yeah, by the time I did my yoga practice, I just felt like, you know how you wash your body and that's like bodily hygiene. I feel like there's a second type of hygiene, which is just like cleansing, clarifying and letting old energy, old thoughts, old build up of tension pass through and that's really necessary and so yeah as I was doing both practices I was just imagining like my heart beating cleansing my blood my lungs doing that too and I just kind of got overwhelmed and amazed by how great the body is as a vessel like all the things that it does without us even asking how it keeps us alive and yeah it refreshed my want to want to honor that and uphold that but anyway um I'm going to go skip because I haven't skipped for the last two days. Today is Sunday and so technically, yeah, if I start, I don't know, like I've done it what once in the past week. <laughs> so hopefully I can get back on track with that because even though it was hard, I can feel that it was really beneficial. And I feel like the hardest things to do are the things definitely worth doing. Worth doing. Um, and so, yeah, I'm going to go and skip um and have a shower after that and because I've been so focused on all of this I really have got no close to no work done I think I've worked one day out of all the days I've made these videos and so yeah I did a lot that time to myself to kind of get myself back on track and so I haven't felt any pressure about that till now but I also have like a niggling awareness in the back of my head that if I don't push myself to work I can very easily slip into some um can we say poor habits of just doing nothing and that's not good for anybody especially not for me because after like five days of being unproductive I start to go into crisis and panic and feel like 
I'm never going to be productive again in my life and my whole life is going to go to shit. So yeah, I am going to go and do all of those things, take care of the things that I had to do. And then once I've done that, I will sit down and study some drawing or write something and that will be my day's work and my day's focus. Today might be a bit boring. In fact, all of these days might be a bit boring, but this is just the reality of what I do. This is how I get myself to a space of being able to function. And as I've said, I'm pretty sure in a previous video, like when I do then emerge out into the world and people are like, oh, or not even people, me, I'm able to function in a way that I never used to in the past or other people that know me are like, oh, you look good. Like, what have you been doing recently? This is what I've been doing. And so back to that point of invisible work, makes visible moments it's all the invisible work and effort that you put into yourself into your life into your craft that then amounts into progress and into change and into manifestation or whatever you choose to call it side note i don't know why but my body is like doing some weird stuff in the few days that i was fasting i felt really good and i think i was coming down with a cold and because i fasted and was taking the garlic pills it just didn't touch me at all. Like I was just releasing, I hate the word, but mucus and like old phlegm and stuff. And that was good. Like that was cleansing out. And then I told myself that when I get hungry or start to feel hunger, that would be my sign that the fast was over. And because I've had problems with eating disorders in the past and taking things way too far, I it's important for me to follow that. And I did follow that yesterday. I had like you saw i'm pretty sure the video is not up yet i haven't edited it or like whatever but um when i do put it up you will see if you are watching this there's like yam and um ugu. it's called pumpkin leaves that's it um so i made like a a nice we call it yam porridge but i don't know how to explain it it was like sweet potatoes yams onions cooked down till it's like soft almost like a porridge texture with some palm oil some salt i didn't put any maggie or crayfish because that's not what i'm trying to eat at the moment but you can and then i just put the pumpkin leaves in at the end and that was really good and my body felt good i also had like a rice salad with cucumber sesame seed blah, 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 all of those different things it was nice earlier but now i just feel congested again and so today i've lost my appetite all over again and i don't know i'm just gonna um obey that and probably by this evening have one meal and then just call that a day like have the same yam porridge situation again <clears throat> and so yeah uh, i have faith that this is all leading towards some way good but um sometimes in the moment like in the heat of the moment everything just feels so heavy my thoughts my emotions my will to move my body and do the things i said i was going to do and so yeah one step at a time journey of a thousand steps starts with one what's that quote yeah anyway mm. okay so i said i was gonna skip but i still want to keep my dignity and um my neighbors are currently outside burning stuff and cleaning their garden so guess who's not gonna skip outside right just now me <laughs> don't laugh at me <laughs> but what i'm gonna do is just start drawing now i think i'm gonna do some portrait practice and figure drawing because i haven't done that in a long time okay i'll draw you <laughs> And then, yeah, once that's done, do you want to keep these boxes here? What? Do you want these boxes still? What boxes? Questy. No, no, no. No, no. wait, wait. Come Yeah. I'm going to okay. try and stack them on in the... So, um, yeah. I'm going to draw now and then I'll skip later. And I'll make sure that I actually do skip and hold myself accountable. And that's that, 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 that. After I'm done drawing, I'll show you guys. Even if it's not that good. I haven't drawn in so long that I'm I'm scared and I'm embarrassed. So yeah, I'll keep you updated. My bad, you're evil. Oh, the light came on. Good. Um, so yeah. I have been drawing all day. Um oh, okay, we'll put the light on. Okay. That's much better. So I've been drawing all day, kind of just trying to get back into the flow of my portrait practice. Nothing too serious, nothing to sell or for commission, but just to like draw for the sake of drawing. And it's been really nice. So yeah, but the time has come. I let it drag and it's now the end of the day. It's getting dark outside. It's kind of cold too. It's time to skip. So wish me luck. Okay. Hey Siri, please set a five minute time off. No? Hey Siri, please set a five minute time off.
Hey Siri, can you set a one minute timer? Skipping done. Oh, I won't say that was easy because clearly, oh, you can hear me breathing, but it was much easier than the day before. Oh, and I tried to. Hey Siri, please turn off flashlight. I tried to. What do I try to do? I went into this one thinking, okay, let me not distract myself. Let me put my nerves to the side. Let me not be so theatrical. And let me just try and focus and control my breathing because that will increase my stamina and just see what I can do. And you may have seen, I have a tendency to get distracted. One, there was no light outside. So I was like fidgeting with this, trying to get the light to come on. And I don't know what else I did but there was around a minute of skipping not accounted for. So I set another timer just to make sure I did it. And yeah, if anyone has some fitness goals, obviously I'm not the least fit person in the world, but I wouldn't say I'm that fit. Just like, look how much progress. This is the second time I've skipped and done this five minute skipping thing. And I made so much progress compared to the first time. I hope that like inspires you or makes you feel less daunted because you know everything that's hard at first with practice becomes less hard and so yeah oh hopefully it encourages you to work towards something you've been finding difficult and putting off as a consequence oh in terms of how i'm feeling i don't feel that bad actually it's definitely not as painful and hard as it was the first day I think that has to do with my breathing, but also I feel like I'm recovering a lot quicker. My legs, I feel like they're gonna get a good workout from doing this, which is good because my calves are puny and you know, they could do with some strengthening. So that was cool. And it was a nice, it was a nice practice. I feel good. And I feel my lymphatic system got jogged around a bit, you know? So yeah, hopefully I can be a bit more consistent with skipping this week and within two weeks I'll have made a lot of progress and be able to show that yeah um I'm gonna go back to drawing now I also have to edit yesterday's video and put that up I've actually been enjoying recording every day um even though it has had its challenges I feel like it, I didn't realize how accountable this would keep me to myself and I actually really enjoy that I'm watching myself back I'm able to see like how my emotions fluctuate how my mood fluctuates even if I'm not directly saying it, like I can see it in my face or my expression. And it's been a really cool tool to be able to observe myself and get some perspective. And so, yeah, would 10 out of 10 recommend. Anyway, I'm going to go edit that video, finish some drawings. I'll show you what I drew by the end of the day. It's nothing that impressive, but at the same time, it was nice to get back into my practice. And yeah, I'll probably read as well. I'm feeling to read the rest of that Chekhov book. So yeah, in a bit. Cool, so it's the end of another day. I don't even know if I'm that tired at the moment, but it's like 1am, so I do need to go to sleep. I've just been drawing and researching stuff and reading. I'm probably going to read a tiny bit more because I'm kind of into the books I'm reading at the moment. Um, I did do some Korean study today. Not that much. So if I don't read, I'll just do more of that to make sure that I'm staying on top of things. And yeah, I'm going to go have a shower and then just go to sleep, to be fair. And try again tomorrow. <laughs> I think something I need to do is make more effort to, after I meditate or do something that brings me to a clear-minded space, make more effort to like either plan out or consider what I want to get done and achieve the next day just because I sometimes find myself like 
you know, I have my morning practice and that's the plan. And then I have my plan to escape and I have my plan to do like um, my language study. But unless somebody is actually like commission me for a piece or whatever, I just draw kind of aimlessly, which is fun. And I think it's good to do because it's kept me enjoying just drawing and painting for the sake of drawing and painting or writing for the sake of writing. But I think if I train myself to work toward bigger goals... I will feel like a bigger sense of accomplishment from achieving projects just in my own time rather than just having sketches or stuff like that to show. And yeah, I think I'm realising part of that has to do with like my attention span. Um, and yeah, since that's something that I'm trying to tame by doing all of these practices, maybe that's the next step in like in that growth. But yeah, I'm going to show you some of the drawings that I did today um, just to get back into the habit of portraits. And yeah, let's see. So for reference, these are some portraits I was doing at the start of last year. And I have other books. Like, I have so many books. This is something I did today. <laughs> Mess. Um, I have loads of other books that I draw in. But this, um, it's like I have loads of random sketch, but This is one I travelled with and I've done some things in since. But yeah, these are the ones I did today. They're good, but as you can see, like this one... My mum's face is completely off. This is like some preliminary sketches I did just to get my hand back into the motion. They're all right, but they, I don't know. It's like portraits, fine art. It's the kind of thing that if you do not practice every single day or at least consistently, not every day, but like consistently, um, you do just lose your technique and you do just lose your knack for like, perspective for proportion for anatomy you know and so yeah that's been a big goal for me the past for as long as I well let's say mm, I think for the past like four months I haven't been in a consistent portrait practice and I'm seeing it in my work and like in the accuracy and likeness that I'm able to achieve when I draw and that's not something that I'm enjoying so yeah that's something I'm gonna get back to However, that said, there are periods of times where I practice my portraits and I practice that kind of like traditional fine art skill. And then I go so long practicing that I look back on my actual art and my creative, my creative work or creativity in general. And I start to feel like I know how to reproduce something, but I've lost my own language of what it is I'm trying to say, if that makes sense. And so, yeah, I go from forward and backward between I'm going to completely just draw what comes out of my head and what I see and what I feel to I'm going to draw portraits and real life and naturalistic styled things and yeah it's a constant balance they both feed the other like the more that I'm able to draw from my subconscious the more creative my portraits are and the more that they kind of have to say rather than just being reproductions of what's on the paper or the photo in front of me you know the reference and then when I draw from reference or I draw from life I'm able to reproduce and make the things that come out of my subconscious at a higher level that is more convincing and just overall more pleasant to to see fathers I don't know I don't know anyway I did do another little doodle which is more close to like just the style of what I was saying like comes out of my subconscious here and like yeah it was fun I like these little characters sometimes it's like a guessing game because I don't know what's going to come out and you can see I kind of like started to fill in and do details but I didn't really go the full way and so yeah that was fun there's nothing else in here let's see is there anything fun to show in general oh I actually forgot about the the front cover I think I was reading June at the time fear is the mind killer but yeah I really like this front cover it's cute. I like this guy. Or girl. I don't know. Ugh. And this like little circle thing. Ah! Anyway. Anyway, I'm going to go have a shower. I made my bed all nice and specially done this morning. I put some lavender oil and stuff in it. And so, yeah, I'm excited to get in. But I don't want to sully it with my stinking self. Because, yeah. It's not that I haven't been washing. I've just been wearing the same clothes that I've had on for the past two three four days because i haven't really gone anywhere and when i went out i would just put on like well to be fair i wore this outside but yeah like i usually just take this off and wear 
my house clothes for like a couple of days just change the things that are important to change you know socks and underwear but yeah when i go i'll just put like a tracksuit bottom on top so i don't see it as that deep but uh, right now it's been like three days in these clothes yeah i need to need to have a shower i need to change and that's what i'm gonna do so yeah today was not this being a habit of me trying to summarize the day um how would i summarize today today was i started off unwilling i saw it through and now i feel like i got through another day and it's an accomplished day because what did I do? I did my yoga, I meditated, which is something I haven't done in a while. I skipped, I read a book, I practiced the language, although not that much. So I'm going to do a little bit more now before I go to bed. And I drew. T -t 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 I did quite a few things. So yeah, I'm going to go and be proud of myself and maybe even journal a little bit so that I can make a plan for tomorrow for what I want to do what I want to achieve and work toward and yeah tomorrow will be another day or today will be another day to be fair and that will be what it is <laughs>